Hey, I have a simple request. When you're done watching this, not now, when you're done, call a friend, tell them you just watched this, you liked it, they should watch. Turn people on to us. That way we can do more, better, bigger things for you. Promise. More people watch, you get more better shit at home. You get more better stuff at home. Promise. See ya. Welcome to Sam Livecast, everyone. We're continuing on with Leftover Steak Week. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful little piece of uh, filet that uh, we had left over that we're going to turn into something super delicious. I've already started caramelizing some red onions. You just cook them slow, you cook them low with not a lot of heat, you let the sugars come out, you let them just get gorgeous and beautiful. Uh, I'm going to add a couple things. One, we'll season them with some salt and pepper, of course, because that's what we always do. Oh, I love the smell of the red onions it's cooking. Amazing, isn't it? It's like sweet. So, a little bit more butter, and we'll throw maybe a tablespoon of brown sugar in here. Because we're doing a blue cheese thing uh, that's you know, detain, and I want the sweet of this to go with it. And we're also doing a um, balsamic vinegar part of this that will help play beautifully against these amazingly caramelized red onions. All right. Let me talk about the balsamic vinegar for a second. So I made a glaze. And all that means is I took bottled balsamic vinegar, I put it in this pot on low, brought it to a little simmer, turned it down as low as I could, and then I just left it. And if you look at the way it hits the, there you can see how syrupy it is. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to drizzle uh, soaking wet, like water-like vinegar on top of this thing when we're finished. I want it all syrupy and sexy. Fantastic. So that's what we've done. We're gonna put this, we're gonna build like a little appetizer. Uh, I'm gonna use this little non bread that I love buying. So we've got the onions doing their thing beautifully here. I need the steak, which I can grab a knife cuts. Super thin. Super As thin, As you can yeah. see. And the way that you cut it can make all the difference in the world on a bite because I think if you so. bite into something and it just has a huge thick piece of steak, it's like it takes over and you can't right. really deal with everything else. You just want it to kind of melt in your mouth. You have to make food easy for people to eat. And this is no knife and fork. This is just gonna be simple. Cut this little thing into little triangles or little slices when we're, when we're done with it. So just take your time getting this part done. You don't need to cover it. It's not like a painting. You gotta paint all the way across this canvas. But you wanna think that you've got enough of this state to make this thing look pretty when you're done. And I think I do right now. I'll just cut a little extra. I wanna make sure that I'm good. This non-bread, I'm just gonna now throw on this flat griddle right here. I just wanna get it warmed up a little bit and my oven is on to broil just so I can give the color, the top a little color when it's done. Amazing. They're basically done. I can take them off. The non is perfect. 
Let me just get uh, back up there, sonny boy. Blue cheese. I can come to you, no? No, that's good. Okay. Oh, these onions smell so damn good. Another steak. Spread it out. Wow. Nice. I'm happy with this. Yoink. Yoink. Oh my God. Just wait till the whole thing gets done. And then, you crumble some glue. Oh my god, that filet. I know. Melted. You're not trying to inundate with the blue cheese. You're just trying to add some nice little bright spots of it. So you get like perfect little bites, okay? Throw this into the broiler just for a second. So we've warmed the top, we've warmed the bottom. It's just gonna get like a minute. Really no more than that. Because it doesn't need any more than that. And then we'll be at the ready, sorry Max, with our glaze here. If you've watched this show for any amount of time, you know that Perch sponsors us. The Perch.com on the internet Kitchen, bath, outdoor, amazing. Look, it's this simple. You walk into one of their stores, you go, oh, I need a sink. You walk into one of their stores, you're like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. You think I'm making this stuff up because they're a sponsor of the show. Oh no, I'm not making it up. It is the way it happens. You'll be blown away. Go to theperch.com, check them out on Facebook. You'll love them like we love them. It's an amazing store, amazing store. There you go. See that? Just take a little, oh, screw it, I'll just do that. Oh, I'm not, I don't want to lose that blue cheese. I just salivated, I'm not kidding. Mm. 
Okay. Might be one of the messiest, but one of the best things I've put in my mouth in a long time. The the blue cheese and the caramelized, the sweet caramelized onions are amazing together. That little bit of drizzle from the balsamic vinegar glaze does tremendous things and you could do it without the steak, but you've got the steak, so the hell, why not? Mm. It's ridiculous. And it's because I started with leftover steak. I always have red onion. The non bread could be almost anything. But get the non because it's just that that warm, doughy little deliciousness underneath that makes the whole thing happen. All right, that's it for me. Uh, back again Friday with um, with something else with leftover steak. I don't know what it's gonna be. I have an idea. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out then. Thanks for hanging out with us. Don't eat shitty food. See ya.